I have like 10 minutes to get ready this morning and I wanted to come at you and let you know how I do that. I've got my uh, curling iron brushes, toothbrush and makeup ready to go and literally have, like I said, I need to leave the house at 9.15. So here's my face in the morning with just moisturizer on, just got out of the shower, got dressed, I'm gonna curl my hair real quick. It only takes about five minutes and put on a little bit of makeup. And so I'm happy to watch what I do, watch my routine, how I get ready in 10 minutes. Okay, first of all, I start off with putting on my foundation first. I love a little bit darker foundation because I do have a tan on the rest of my body, but I don't tan my face because I always put on an SPF. So put a little bit darker foundation on then. Concealer. Cover up those red spots. I like to use my fingers for application, especially when I'm in a hurry, because well, every time I use brushes, they're awesome, but I like to reserve those for when I have a little bit longer time to get ready, which isn't very often. <laughs> then I have this awesome little compact from Tarte, but it has three things I need in it right now. My blush, and the apples of my cheeks, and I am definitely not a professional um, makeup artist by any means, but I'm a professional busy woman, so <laughs> I do things that help me really do things fast, so a little bit of uh, bronzer on the cheeks. and then highlighter. All right, the next thing I do is my eyebrows because I do have eyebrows, but it's nice to make them a little bit darker and more filled in. My daughter taught me this trick my daughter, Allie Fisher, by the way, Beauty by Allie, if you want to follow her Instagram account, she is going to be a professional makeup artist someday, and she's only 16, but loves, loves, loves to do makeup, so she's taught me some of these little tricks. I love Urban Decay's um, an over, or I guess I should say under eyeshadow base to help give me some color on my eyelids without even needing to apply um, eyeshadow, but I do like to apply eyeshadow as well. I don't really give it the proper time to dry but that's okay so you can see um gosh four minutes into the routine and almost done i just need to put a little bit of glitter and i like to apply it with my finger as my daughter Allie taught me how to do so then you don't get the fallout of all that glitter underneath your eyelids i'm using bobby brown's makeup palette and I love this color right here. So I just put my finger in there and apply. Okay, then I take a brush like this for my eyelid crease. And
All right, that took me six minutes, so that means I only have about four more minutes for my hair, but my makeup is done. <laughs> and I probably will put on a little bit of lip gloss after I brush my teeth. Okay, four minutes to do my hair, and I'm gonna use a little bit of dry shampoo. This one's super cheap, and it works great. So I'm just gonna spray it at the roots. All right, and it'll start to turn white here in a second. It's kind of funny, it looks like I have gray hair. And I have a lot of hair. Um, and unfortunately for me, and so I'm gonna go back and forth with my brush to really work that dry shampoo in. Normally I'd let it set a little bit longer, but I'm in a time crunch, so. I've got four more minutes, guys, until I have to get out of here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna brush my hair. Some people might think it looks good just like this, but um, I actually like to have my hair more smoothed down. I have super frizzy, thick hair. And so I like to use a curling iron like this or a wand, but a wand just takes too long. So a traditional curling iron works really good for me. Let's see if I can get this tripod to stay where I want it to. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick it up in sections and curl real quick all the way through. Making big curls throughout and I knock everything down in my kitchen or bathroom <laughs> kitchen. Ay, ay, ay. It's still too early. I need another cup of coffee. You know, while I'm getting ready in the morning, um, when I have a little bit more time, or even if I don't, I'm typically listening to a podcast or a book on Audible, or I'm listening to really good music, but typically listening to a book because I get in about two books a month that way. I'm listening to Crushing It Right Now by Gary Vanderchuk. <laughs> I think that's his last name. What are you guys listening to or reading? I'd love to know. And the hair is done. Woohoo! Okay. Hair and makeup complete. It is 9.15 and time to go. One last thing. Ha, just brush my teeth. And I needed a little bit of lip gloss. I love this stuff because it makes your color on your lips just look natural and pretty. And this is uh, City Lips. Also plumping. Nah. Another thing I noticed is that, oh my gosh, I have a lot of gray roots right now. I'm getting my hair recolored on uh, Thursday next week. So I can't wait. But um, being 42, this is something I definitely pay money to keep up with. the gray away got this stuff and it is amazing i'm just gonna put a little bit in and then just like you do your dry shampoo you kind of just rub it in and then it's gone i love it a little bit of hairspray and i'm golden you guys have an awesome day.